everybody who's up late, who wants to have a late night talk while your girl can't sleep. I gotta sweep this floor tomorrow. This floor is a mess. So anyways, I told y'all, I'm gonna show y'all how I saved my money on a habit that I got that is very bad. This habit is bad, but there's a way to save money doing it. And it saves me money. I'm gonna tell you how. Because this habit is about a $7 habit. And I can smoke anywhere from seven, I mean, sorry, two, two, one or two packs a day. It depends on what kind of day I'm having. So therefore, you say $14 a day. Let's just say 20, because we're going to round up. $20 a day times 30 is what? We know $10 times 30 is 300. So $20, let's see. I say it's about $400 a month, give or take, times 12. We don't even want to do the math. But I can get this and order this online. I think your biggest investment is going to be this machine. This machine, they have the handheld ones that are like 68 bucks. This one cost me like 100 and something bucks. These cost me three bucks because I smoke 100s. This only cost me $13. And this can last me a month and a half. So let's say $13, $14, $15, $16. Mm-hmm. And let's say it's about two months on this. So if I buy six bags and about eight of my cartilages, I'm pretty much spending about $300 a year. Let's give or take. So it's an investment, but it's worth the investment. So like this was my last pack, my last bag. I like fresh, so I keep these in the small freezer. And then you can buy this bucket online at the same place I buy mine. And you just fill it up. Just like this. And if you keep it in the freezer, it keeps it fresh. That's the trick. So it can't, it doesn't, it can't never go bad. Unless you leave it open, then it will go bad. Uh, because it's just a bad habit, I told you. I probably will never stop smoking. It's just, everybody has their own habits. I don't drink, I don't party, I got a bad habit, but I learned to save money on my habits. Here goes my washer, y'all, my washer about to, my washer about to wash and shake all night. Go to sleep, boy. So, anyways, what we're going to do is bang it. And then we're going to take these right here, right here. That's it. I'm going to take one of these. Bang. Put it in this machine right here. And I put too much. Because you don't want them to be hard. That's why you see a lot of those in there. And you put too much in them. So I just put them in there and then come back later on in case you need one. <laughs> Y'all know how. Uh, I got it online. You can find them everywhere. 
Like this one, I'm not just gonna waste my time playing with it. So, because it's fresh, put it back in there. So, I mean, you'll be able to, after you get the hang of it, you'll be able to know. I mean, you gotta be careful because it does have sticks. And don't do it like mine. Bam. And she's ready for the day. Hey. And your girl. I think I have to roll like every three days. Because I will sit here and roll about, I don't know, 50, 60 of them. And the trick is, if you don't want to walk around with a bag, save you a car, save you a, uh, save you a old carton or old cigarette pack and put them inside there. They fit the same. They're 100. So just get you 100 box and fill it up before you leave the house. Ain't nobody going to know the difference but your savings account. That's the only person that's going to know the difference because it's just like the real ones. And what's crazy is because it is uh, what you call it? It doesn't have any chemicals. That's the only thing. So, like, they don't, you know, the new ones, I think they stopped doing it a while back where they stop it from burning. These don't do that. So, they don't have any chemicals to stop them from burning. It's just original, pure. And you can get whatever kind. Like, I do gold. And they got menthol. They got everything. Any kind that you that you de need, they have it. I just say cut out the middleman, and that would be the store. You ain't got no taxes. You ain't got none of that. And imagine that you, I got, I keep my uh, my uh, handheld one when the lights go out, or like when we have the storms here, or two years ago when we had the snow. Uh, we didn't have no power, but I still had cigarettes. You couldn't get out in the roads, but Amber still had her, her habits. And I'm not going to lie. This is my habit. This is the only habit I got. And I probably will never give it up. I know that it's bad. I know that I should. But this is just one demon I can't fight. I I can't. I think you have to, when you're ready to give up something, everybody can tell you how bad it is. But it's almost like leaving a relationship. Everybody can tell you how bad your boyfriend or girlfriend is. Everybody can tell you what you need to do or how to do it. But you're not going to do it until you get tired. You're not going to do it until you're ready to give up. Until you're ready to walk away. And I just ain't been there yet. I just haven't, I ain't been ready. When I'm stressed out, this is my best friend. When I'm irritated, he's my best friend. So it's all up to you. I'm not saying that it's a good thing. I'm just telling you that this is my habit, but I'm telling you how to save money on your habits. If you have a habit like I do, and you're tired of spending all your money on that habit, there is another way, and it's called rolling your own. Cutting the middleman out, spending about $400 a year compared to $400 a month. And so, it's worth the investment. It's worth it to a T. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you that it's not because, hey, it comes in handy, and you ain't got to worry about it. When I first, uh, when Mr. Perry, because Mr. Perry's the one that did this, I didn't. When he first told me about it, I was like, I'm not rolling my own, I'm not doing that. But after I literally seen how much it changed my life, how much I kept in my banking account, I bet you ain't got to tell me no more. I bet you ain't got to, I bet you ain't going to see me up there no more getting none. Because I'm going to be right here at this house. Get in my roll on. I bet you, I bet you, I am. So 
So just think about it. If there comes 20 in a pack, 20 comes in a pack, right? And it all depends on how you like yours. If you want yours tight, tight, you can do it tight. But the machine's not going to let you roll them too tight. Uh, because it will tell like it will slow down like it did on the first one. Uh, but say you like them tight, it's all up to you how you do it. But I can tell you that that right there, all I did was take a handful out and put it in here, right? So I can tell you, I don't know how much exactly it'll roll. But I know that one of these is about, it depends on how you do yours. But I would say I can get about anywhere from 15 to 20 out of this. So, it's all on you. And then you just put them inside of a, I put them in the Ziploc bag because I like mine fresh. So, I'm not going to leave them just in the open. And that's because you don't want them to, you don't want them to go stale. Anything out here can go stale. But if you keep it in a Ziploc bag, that's good. So I rolled that whole one there. And we're talking about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, and the one I threw in there makes 19. So, bam. You gonna pack them, because it ain't no difference. And get them ready for the day. Hey, and get them ready for the day. If it's not a habit it's going through, then you don't know. If, if it's not a habit, you're going through, then you don't know the struggle. So don't judge others. That's right. Because I'm going to tell you like this. Everybody has a habit. That is my thing. Everybody has a habit out here. So therefore, it all depends on how you, it all depends on what your habit is. We all have demons. We all fight something. We all have that one thing. And if you don't, then who I envy you because, baby, I wish I had your willpower. I wish I had your su success not to have it, but I don't. And I can admit that. Um, will I smoke all of those in one day? Probably. So, yeah, I'll, I'll probably sit here and roll about another 40. I have at least half of this bag, bro. Before I go to bed. Uh, and then I won't have to roll another tomorrow the next day. Uh, this machine is called the Power, the Power Mag, the Power Matic 5. Um, but like I say, everybody's different. Just to the ones that have the same problem I do. I just wanted to tell you how you can save a little money. Put it in your pockets. And take it. At the end of the day, we all human. Watching my friend. Hey, when she's ready, she will. Until then, yep. By the way, your brows are looking good. Thank you. Thank you, Jody, for the stars. But your breathing and coughing is already not good. Miss Dawn, it doesn't come from cigarettes. It might, it might have a part to do with it. But me being out of breath has a lot to do with my iron. That's why I'm not asleep. Because my Charlie horses... They're not regular Charlie horses. They're not like your everyday, just a little leg cramp. It's like literally scared to go to sleep because you have to walk around the bed all night screaming and praying that it takes it out of you. So when I can feel my legs and they get tight like they are, I find things to do so that way I don't have to go through it. It's just me. But it doesn't have to do with my breathing. Or what it is. It's my iron. My iron is just, if you look up anemic, it'll tell you that you get short of breath. As soon as I fix it, hopefully the 28th is when I have surgery. Then, um, 
hopefully everything gets back better and then I can do my iron infusions and then I won't feel so bad. That's my, that's my opinion. But like I say, each their own. I left you a comment a few minutes ago about cinnamon French toast sticks at Sam's Club, 50 in a box that kids will probably like. Miss Joyce, I'm gonna have to go to Sam's and check it out. I've tried to stop so many times Tried everything and even seen a counselor twice, but as say this is my bad habit. It is. Everybody has their own. Grandma, uh, Grandma Perry, she likes soda. She likes candy. She likes cigarettes. <laughs> she has her habits. Me, I have my habits. Everybody has a habit. Nobody's perfect. And if you are, then baby, you are one in a few. Iron does affect a lot of things. And I wish people would understand before they judge. Because I'm not tired because I'm fat. I'm not tired because I'm overweight. I'm not tired because of my habits. I'm tired because of what I'm going through. Like, literally. My doctor was like, what you need to do is try to stay in the bed. That way you don't take hot showers. You don't stand up and get dizzy. Your muscles don't get to a point where they're exhausted. But I can't. It's not in me to just lay in a bed and then get depressed and then get down into a black hole that I got to fight my way out of by myself. Because when you are depressed, nobody can help you but yourself. So therefore, why? I don't want to. So i rather go through the pain and being exhausted and being tired than not doing it at all. I just wish people would, you know, do a little research before, you know, it's just automatically assume. And my cough isn't from my bad habits because I've always had the cough, but it's from my GERD. I have GERD. So that means like literally I catch a GERD spell or I have GERD to the point that I can't sleep. I can't eat. I throw up everything that I do put in my mouth. It's horrible. But as soon as I fix my iron, I'm hoping everything Everything gets fixed. That's why I'm trying to lose weight. That's why I'm on my new life journey that I've been sticking with now almost six months. And I'm giving it everything I got. I'm just not ready to give up my habit. So. I've already had all of it checked. We finally figured out what it was. And I'm losing my iron because I have a... Um, Flyboard? Is that what it's called? A fly, a fly, flyboard? I don't know. It's a flyboard or whatever you want to call it. No, once again, for the people that's going to come for me when they see it, no, I do not know how to say it. I'm doing my best to say it. But I have one on my, uh, I guess it's like where you have your babies, whatever you call that, your uterus, whatever it is. And that's what's making me have heavy periods. So I'm having them twice a month. So I'm losing blood twice a month. And that way, my bodies can't keep my iron in my body. So after I get that fixed, come the 28th of next month, then I won't have it no more. And the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that removed. And the same day, I'm going to have where they, like, I guess it's like they, they thin out your lining to where you have no periods and uh, small periods. And it should help. So that's a whole, y'all, I'm literally putting it to the back of my brain. Because I don't want to think about it. Like, that's why everybody's all like, she's not telling us what, you know, what happened. I had one video I said about it. And the way I deal with my problems is, yeah, there you go. The way I deal with my problems is by just not facing it until the day I have to face it. And I'm probably going to be up all night, the 27th. Because I just, I, ha I just, I get nervous. But... It's just, hopefully everything gets fixed. It helped me, Amber, the same surgery you're having. They said it's supposed to. So I'm going to cross my fingers. I'm going to hope it is because I done had everything else. Y'all seen me go through iron infusions and it didn't work. It only lasted four months. And I knew that my iron was getting bad is when I started feeling bad again. And that was around April before my birthday. And then I already knew. So that's why I went to my doctor. We did blood work. We checked everything. And once again, my iron and my blood count was low. So I was severe anemic. I'm at a four. 
and it's already lower than that because I already have a period. So I still have to get through three more periods before I even have my surgery. So I have a lot to face, but I'm going to do it. So I, if you do have it, Miss uh, Bonnie, Bonnie Lytle, check, I'm going to tell you honestly because I got the runaround. I'm going to be honest with you. I went through just having uh, my iron checked. I think it was two years ago, a year and a half ago, I found out that I was anemic, right? Um, and they pretty much gave me the runaround. Like, we literally had to do iron infusions. We did so much blood work. It was unreal. <coughs> Finally got an OBGYN. And even though I didn't want to, I went and seen her. And that is, I'm scared, but I'm ready to get it done with. And as long as the flyboard or whatever it is that they take out, as long as it doesn't have any active or any cancer cells or nothing like that, then I can keep. I don't have to have a full hysterectomy. So therefore, I'm hoping that that's it. But I would get it checked because instead of getting the runaround, no iron pills hurt or worked, none. And I was pay I paid 200 something dollars for my iron pills. They would not work. I did it all. And nothing would work. Eating the right foods and the whole nine yards. Nothing worked for me. Finally seeing an OBGYN and figuring out what is going on. And I'm not going to lie. When I did it last Thursday, because I did my water, water scope is what they call it. Um, it was, it hurt. It hurt a lot. Because of the fact that after they do whatever they do, your body cramps. So I was already irritated. My body was tired. But it was worth it because now I have answers. I know what I'm facing and I already have my schedule search, uh, my surgery scheduled. But if you are having heavy periods, then have it checked. Because if you look up after we get off of here and you look up on uh, Google, look up uh, anemic. And nine times out of ten, what you're going through is anemic. It is. It's just a lot and it tears you down and mentally, physically, and emotionally. The iron infusions are horrible. They are. You feel like somebody ran you over with a bus three or four times. You're exhausted. It's and it's like it's every week. It depends on how many you have to have. And it's it's horrible. The saline tastes horrible. It's nasty, but we're going to get it fixed. I'm going to get it fixed, and then I'm going to be a brand new person. Um, I'm just hoping that it's the last thing I got to face. So, but I just wanted to let y'all know how to save money um, on your habit, like your girl. I order mine online. They come straight to my house. No problems. I get about six of these. I order about six of them. They last me about nine months. So to be on the safe side, I order about seven or eight. And then it lasts me all year. So 13 times eight. I can't do math. I can't. <laughs> but anyways, grab your calculator like I do. 13 times eight is what you're going to pay for this. They come 100, 200 of these in a box. You pay $2.99. I get about nine boxes, if not ten. Just to have them around. The machine's going to cost you the most. But after you buy your machine, you don't need it anymore. So roughly a year, I spent about 400 bucks Instead of $400 a month. Do the math. It's going to save you bitcoins. And then you can thank me later when your bank and account starts going through the roof. You must be talking about your surgery coming up. I think I'm going to have to get my cyst removed on my left ovary. I'm going to be praying for you because I know it's scary, y'all. It is. It's, it's mind-blowing. And I, I try to just swallow it and just forget it. And then I'll worry about it when the day gets here. But I love y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank y'all for supporting your girl. And if y'all get a chance and you see this video, go over to YouTube. Look for The House of Bullies. You can't miss me. I'm going to be going live over there every day. So hit the subscribe button over there. It is free. 
Hit it once. Don't hit it twice because you don't have to be a follower if you don't want to. Uh, but hit subscribe. It, it just means you followed my page. Turn on the bell to all. There's a bell right next to it. So you don't miss my lives because you're not going to find the lives that I'm doing over there over here at all. I'm going to start going live over there every day, if not twice a day. So go over, follow your girl on YouTube, and let's rock together. But I will see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to sit up here, finish one of my cigarettes, listening to a little music, finish my clothes, and then get up in the morning and do it all over again. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I hope y'all had an amazing Father's Day. I hope all of y'all that didn't have a father to see today is having a better night. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. I love y'all.